What's up everyone? It's Saturday and you know what that means. Another video from the One-Handed Chef. Today we are making yummy chocolate covered strawberry brownies from the ultimate kids cookbook. Without further ado, let's get to it. Alright everyone, so your first step is to make the brownies and for that you will need Alright, so your first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and grease your pan. Now I always forget to preheat the oven, so let's just go do that now quickly. Alright, so now we are melting our butter and our chocolate chips in our microwave. Alright, so your butter and chocolate are melted and now you are going to add your sugar, vanilla, and two eggs to the bowl. Okay, so I want you to remember how I crack an egg with one hand. I just go doop, 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 doop on the side and then slowly roll it open so no shell gets in there. Until it comes out. All right, now you're gonna add the flour, cocoa powder, and salt to the bowl. Okay, our batter is done, and it's time to get it into the pan. So. I'm going to set it up against the ball like we normally do. And normally I need help doing this, but the data is thick. So I think there's a possibility that I'll be able to do it by myself. So make sure to lean it up against you. And push the bed out with your spatula. Now I know why they say that you need a spatula to do this. So you're going to want to bake this for 30 minutes or until you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. Our brownies are done. Let's get them out of the oven and let them cool. While our brownies are cooling, we can make the strawberry jam sauce. Alright, so your first step to making this is to mix together 8 tablespoons of butter and 1 cup of powdered sugar in a bowl until they are well combined with an electric mixer. Alright, now you're going to add 1 fourth cup of strawberry jam to your bowl and mix it until your mixture is formed. It looks perfect. You can keep this in the fridge until the rest of your brownies are cooled, and then we will spread it on. Okay, so our brownies are completely cooled, and now it's time to get the strawberry layer on. All right, we're gonna cover these brownies with some aluminum foil and put them in the fridge for 30 minutes to one hour so that the strawberry layer is completely set. All right, everyone, it's been one hour. Our strawberry layer is 
pretty much set. So let's get started on the chocolate layer. So to make our chocolate layer, you are pretty much doing what your first step was to make the brownies, which is mixing together eight tablespoons of butter with uh, 10 ounces of chocolate chips, the nice sweet. Okay, and then for the butter for this one, they say to cut it up into eight small little pieces, like it's the eight tablespoons. Let this cool for 10 minutes before we put it on top of the brownies. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Our chocolate is cooled. We're gonna get our brownies out of the fridge and pour this on top of them and then smooth it out with a spatula. We're going to put these back in the fridge with all aluminum foil back on top to cool and set before our taste test. Wownies are set. Let's go cut them. See how this brownie tastes. Delicious. I would give these brownies a five on taste because the strawberry and chocolate mixture, that was so good. And the easiest, it also wasn't that hard to make. Yes, it was a lot of steps, but in the end, it was pretty easy, so I would probably also give it a five too. These brownies were a big hit.